Come with me on a Friday night. Let's do a service call together. One of the coolest parts about doing on-call work, getting these random calls from these businesses that need help. This one in particular had a tub leaking from above. It drained down the electrical conduit. It then leaked into the panel because this is an inside panel, and as you can imagine, that ruined the main breaker. As anything with electrical, make sure that it's disconnected before you start work. Here I am with the Old Faithful. You might be wondering how I was able to find this breaker on a Friday night. Your boys got connections, which is exactly why we were called. Take a look at those lugs where those wires are. I didn't actually loosen anything before this. They were actually already loose like that. The more I looked at this job, the more I could tell that it just looked like a low bid job and not a mistake. We have to be torquing these guys. If there's no marker marks on these, it's not a good sign. Those were not tightened ever. They were just snug down and that's it. But we gotta start torquing, not twerking. So the reason I said that this looked like a low bid job is because every single screw in this panel was extremely loose. I actually had to tighten every single one. And if this problem hadn't happened, there would have been a much larger one at a later date. Shocker, I couldn't get that wire that was corroded into that main breaker out. So I had to extend this and put another one in. Got this breaker installed finally. I fought it a little bit. One thing I wish I would have done is I wish I would have marked where the end of this breaker is because as you'll see there's this little black pad on there doesn't really give you a good reference on where that's at I did get lucky though I'll show you because of the corrosion it left its own line for exactly where that breaker needed to be I got lucky there remember when I said this was gonna have a much larger problem before this one had already started and it had nothing to do with that water damage this was just due to a loose connection Another thing that was kind of hard to see was, was my amazing video skills, but I had to actually take that lug out and clean it because it was just totally corroded. It didn't look good. Keep in mind when you get called out for something like this, people don't realize what you did to this panel and what someone else did to this panel. Remember when you're torquing, you can't re-torque a wire. So if you were to undo one of these lugs and then pull this wire out, do something with it, push it back in, you can't re-torque it like that. Once it's torqued, it's done. You guys might say, well, that's exactly what you did when you put those wires back in. Those were not torqued. None of these were torqued. None of them were even close to what they were supposed to be, but they're perfect now. Because this is now my panel under my license, under my insurance, I went ahead and replaced some of the bad breakers. Didn't want anything like that to come up down the road and think it was my fault. And that's a wrap. As always, be an electrician. Leave a mess.